Today I'm going to show you how to change the color of the car. What is going on YouTube? My name is Mo and I'm a car photographer from Bahrain. If it's your first time around this channel and you'd like to learn all about car photography, go ahead and subscribe now so you don't miss out on all the cool stuff that I create every week. Now imagine if Audi would come back and say, hey Mo, we really love the TTRS shot, we just wish the color was yellow and we're going to send you a new one to shoot. I wouldn't say no, it was an amazing experience, I would drive that car over and over again. However, to save time, you can do that just in Photoshop and you can do crazy amazing things with it. Not that they're gonna use it that way, but hey, they might just as well use it. All right, now that we are in Photoshop, we're gonna go ahead and add a hue and saturation um, adjustment layer. And now within this, you have a bunch of options. Just under the preset, go to the master and select blues. Now I know that the color range could go between the blues and the science. So what I'm going to do to fine tune this is to extend these handles right there to feather that color just a little bit. All right, so now we have a selection of the blues and you can, and you can verify that by just moving the slider left and right. So anything that is blue in this picture will start changing color. All right, now I'm going to drag the slider to the left towards the end, and I'm going to settle on this right now. Say about there. Now, hey, we have a different color, a different look. However, I'm not really happy with the color as it is. And you can see that we have a bit of color cast left and right. And that is fine. It's just normal to have a different color cast that we can actually control with the mask perhaps dial it down a bit. That's something that we're gonna uh, take care uh, of later on. So now I'm going to add another uh, adjustment layer and that will be a selective color. Now within the colors, I'm going to pick the yellows and I'm going to push the cyan out. And I'm just eyeballing it here right now. I think I'm gonna keep it around this value down here. Now within the magenta, I don't like this look over here and I don't want to go over, way over. So I'm just going to add a bit of magenta to the image. And for the yellows, of course, I'm going to bump that up just there. Now I'm looking at it, maybe. I mean, I love the color, but it's a bit too saturated. So I'm going to go back to the hue and saturation um, adjustment layer and I'm going to go back to the blues and I might just dial it down a bit, say around there. Yeah, that's more like it. Great. So now if we uh, put these in a folder, say, um, see the before and after, we've completely changed the color of the car. Now within the uh, color cast that we have left and right, what I can do is basically add a mask to this. And I'm going to select the gradient tool. And then I'm, I'm going to make sure it's a linear gradient and uh, the color should be black. I'll put the opacity down to uh, 20, 21%. And um, what I'm going to do basically is get a pen for that. Actually, we forgot one step. So I'm going to draw just roughly right here because I don't want it to touch the car. And um, I'm going to just make a rough selection around here and uh, make selection. Now I'm going to select the gradient tool and I'm just going to drag upwards just a little. There you go. Now we can do the same thing at the top of the image, but uh, since this is mainly blown out, it's okay, in my opinion, and it's a taste. You can always adjust it to the way you see it fit. Now I'm going to select the pen tool and if you want to just make sure um, you know you you mask out a few other things like maybe let's say this fellow over here I'm going to select the brush and pop up the flow just a little bit 
and you can mask it out. Now this is the color of the sky. If you wish to keep it, you can keep it. If you want to remove it, you can remove it. And you can do the same thing with the window over here. You can select the pen tool, make a selection, and then just mask it out. Now here's a nice thing that we can do within this image. Let's select the gradient tool again. And I'm going to bump up that opacity to 100%. And I'm just going to drag from the left to the right, say about here. Drag a little bit more. There you go. So now we have a really nice transition from the yellows to the blues. And it looks cool. But now here's what we can do to make that even better. So I'm going to select the pen tool and I'm going to roughly select around this area. So let's say um, here. Right, now I'm going to make a selection and I'm going to select the brush. Now I know there is a shortcut for this, but I'm not sure what it is. Now, if you know it, leave me a comment in the comment section below. And I'm just going to brush that away like so and boom there you go you got such an amazing look right now you got like yellow on this part blue now you can add different colors to different parts like the front part or the side part and so on and forth and just have fun with it all right YouTube that was really uh, kind of a fun experimental tutorial and uh, I'm pretty sure it's going to be useful for you down the line now I hope you've enjoyed it don't forget to like, subscribe, and follow me on Instagram. I'll see you in the next video.